This is a mega squirt. I'm going to put it there. When I was two years old, I sat in my grandfather's lap and asked if I could have his car. He said yes. Ever since then, this old Volvo has been mine. I've always had a dream of modifying it. I mean, look at this amazing Photoshop work. Don't fix something that's not broken, the say. As you learn about me, I live more by disassemble it, examine it, make it better. Recently, I finally got the chance to bring the car home. So after a 1200 km drive, it now lives in my very own garage. As you can see, a lot of electric works has been done. My grandfather was an engineer and loved to improve things. For some reason, the idea of an aftermarket fuel injection system has always fascinated me. That's why I, in this series, will build upon my grandfather's legacy and install a mega squirt and thus bring the car into the future. So the idea of this project is that it's going to be cheap. That's the, that's the bottom line of it. So, I mean, I don't have that much money since I'm a student. But then also there is a, uh, you know, everybody can do a project like this if they just buy all the stuff. So I want to challenge myself and, and do as much as possible myself. So, yeah. What I'm going to start with is uh, to remove the distributor and do uh, ignition first. And the reason for that is that since this car doesn't have any trigger wheel or anything for the triggering system, I want to try to do something a little bit different. Normally you just uh, mount, like in the front of the engine, you just mount a trigger wheel with a uh, hell effect sensor or a VR sensor and that's it. And I don't want to do that. Uh, or that's my plan B. But since I like to build stuff, I want to first try to do something a bit different. And I will explain exactly what that means in a separate video. But it means that the system will live in the dis distributor. So that means that the distributor have to go. Or the distributor function as it is now. So I'm going to begin with that. Uh, remove it. Remove the, yeah, the leads and everything. And instead install... Um, a, a sequential ignition with coil and plugs. So, and normally you would classify that as expensive, but I have coils from a. I have taken the, the uh, injection and ignition system from a Audi A4 from 99. So, I have access to actually two spare as well, so I have six ignition coils. So why don't use them? So that's why I'm going to do first. And then I'm going to hook it up to the uh, ECU, which I will play somewhere, I don't know, uh, and have it running. So I know that my trigger system works. And when I'm done with that, then I'm going to go to the next step of removing the carburetor and uh, I will also remove the inlet manifold, the exhaust manifold, and, uh, because they are actually one piece. They are cast together. 
and also since they are cast iron from the 60s, it's not something you weld in. So um, it, it will definitely crack if you start to try to weld it. And I don't have that much experience welding cast iron anyway. So instead I will try to build my own manifolds, uh, which will be a fun uh, fun experience. And it don't, doesn't have to be that long because the exhaust manifold ends just right down here. And then also I can build a little bit bigger planner to get some, uh, some good, uh, I don't know what you call them, injection inlet. Yeah, some some uh, effects that you want to do, want to have in a natural aspirated engine. So I guess that's going to be it. Regarding the ignition system in itself or the, the ECU, I have opted to go for a mega squirt. And uh, again, it's cheap. So, so uh, I will explain a little more about that and uh, why, I, why I have it and uh, how it works in the next video actually, because I have bought a, a DIY kit. So I just bought the components and the PCB and I have to build it myself. So that will be fun. So the next, uh, the, the, the first videos is going to be about just that, because that's the first thing I'm going to do, building the uh, mega squirt. And when I'm done with that, I will move on to the ignition system and then to the fuel system. And for the fuel system also, I have to, of course, exchange all the fuel lines because they are 50 years old and not built for uh, high pressure. And the uh, fuel pump, I don't know, the fuel pump from the Audi was a in-tank fuel pump. And I'm not so keen on cutting up the tank and starting to do modifications on the tank. I'd rather just have it be where it's at for now, at least in the first step. And uh, not try to do too much things at one time because this is this is the first time I do something like this. So um, I guess there will be a external pump and I have a, an idea to have the return line to it without drilling holes in the tank. So that will happen and uh, yeah and wiring. I will end all of this with wiring, because there will be a lot of wiring to do. Uh, maybe you can see there are a lot of wiring already, a lot of, uh, a lot of the wiring is done, because uh, yeah, my gr grandfather <laughs> was uh, liked to, to do his own wiring, so there are a lot of extra things on this car. Some of them will have to go and some of them will just be rewired. But I think I will have to redo almost all the wiring in the engine. Um, maybe not replace all the wires, but at least rerun them, reroute them. Uh, so just clean it up because there, it's quite messy here. He liked the design circuits, but maybe not actually build them, uh, is my guess, from seeing this, so, um, yeah, I guess that summarized the project, I hope uh, it will be fun to watch, uh, I will try to upload as many videos as possible, and, uh, yeah, I hope to catch you up in the next video. Bye.